welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the MyWW Blue Plan. I am excited today because I have a super fantastic meal prep coming your way. I have three amazing, delicious, easy recipes that are family friendly, fantastic for meal prep and will definitely, definitely help keep you on track. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it definitely, definitely helps out my channel. If you're not yet subscribed, and the funny thing is most people, over half that watch me are not subscribed to my channel and I am this close to 30,000 subscribers, which is my goal by the end of 2020. So do me the biggest favor ever and hit that little subscribe button. And while you're at it, ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a Vlogmas video or a future video. Also make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I offer one-on-one -on -one macro and calorie calculation and there's 30 and 60 minute sessions for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Definitely know your macros and calories, especially moving into a new year with a whole new set of goals. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. Links, discount codes to the products I use today as well as all of my favorite things are down in the description box along with my Facebook group. If you're not in my group, join us. I have so many amazing things coming your way for the new year. You're not going to want to miss out. So we have a busy day today. We have three recipes to make. So let's jump in. this week I am making the pound droppers skinny cranberry orange loaf you can also make this into muffins but I'm going to make bread so that I can pair this with some protein sausage eggs and even some additional fruit for breakfast so let me show you what's in our recipe you'll need all-purpose flour sugar alternatives in both a granular and a golden or a brown sugar. So as you know, I love the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, and I also love their golden or brown sugar. I do have 10% off for Lakanto. I'll leave that down in the description box. They actually have some great sales right now on their website. So definitely check it out. You can get every single Lakanto product in one place. So it makes it really easy. So I'm going to be using again, the classic and the golden. You'll need baking powder and baking soda salt, vanilla extract, light butter, cranberries, fresh or frozen, whatever your preference is, a couple of oranges, which is funny. Look at the color difference. It's pretty interesting. Half of a cup of water. And then of course an egg. So let's make some cranberry orange bread. The first thing I'm going to do is juice and zest my oranges. So we need about four tablespoons of fresh orange juice from the oranges. And then we are going to zest them as well. So I'm going to leave the zest here on my cutting board, put the juice here in this little juicer container. This makes it really, really easy. And then we'll be ready to start making our bread. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child Let's get started on our bread. So I have one and a half cups of all purpose flour. I'm going to put in about a half of a teaspoon of salt and then one teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. And then I'm going to mix this together. I just want to make sure everything is combined really well as far as dry ingredients go. And then let's put together the wet ingredients. Into a medium sized bowl, we're going to add the wet ingredients, starting with one half of a cup of water. We're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, the two to four tablespoons of orange juice. I have probably closer to four. I'm okay with that because I do want this bread to be very orangey to complement the cranberry. And then I'm going to crack in one egg and then add our sweetener. So I have four tablespoons of Lakanto Classic and four tablespoons of Lakanto Golden. And then we are going to stir this up until it's combined and then we'll add it into the dry ingredients. I 
almost forgot you guys to add in the orange zest. So we're also going to add that to the wet ingredients. Now we're slowly, gradually going to add the wet into the dry. We want to make sure to stir our dry ingredients just until combined. You definitely do not want to overmix. It will ruin the texture of the bread. Just before it's fully combined, go ahead and add in your butter and then continue to stir just until everything is combined. Fold in one and a half cups of cranberries and then this is ready to get into our greased loaf pan. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size is me. Look at how beautiful this is. It's going in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean at 350 degrees. Look at this beauty. This looks so incredibly delicious. I'm going to let it cool for just a little bit and then we will cut it into slices and I'll be back to show you calories and smart points. The loaf of bread makes 12 slices. Much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch. Look at this absolutely gorgeous bread. So you saw me cut this into 12 equal slices. Wait till you hear points and calories. Each one of these slices of bread is only two smart points on all plans. So like I said, it's great. You could even pair this with sausage, bacon, eggs, and make a really well-rounded breakfast. And this is a good slice of bread. I mean, this is... This is a good size slice. This isn't some tiny skinny slice of bread for only two smart points. It is 97 calories per slice. That's all. This is holiday vibes to the max. For lunches this week, I'm making ham and cheese Hawaiian sliders. This would be a fantastic recipe to share on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. It makes a great meal, a great appetizer, calorie friendly, point friendly, and of course, who doesn't love a slider? So let me show you what's in our recipe. You'll need one package of King's Hawaiian rolls or 12 rolls total, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, poppy seeds, and onion powder. Jarlsberg reduced fat Swiss cheese or another reduced fat cheese, ham, and of course some light butter. Let's make some sliders. Pro tip on sliders, instead of separating out your buns, just cut the entire brick in half, a top and a bottom for each of your sliders. It's a big time saver and it just makes assembling them so much easier. Now that I've cut these in half, we're going to assemble the slider. So I have my ham here. And the best way to do this, to give your slider a little bit of texture, is fold your ham and then fold it again so that it is folded into a four kind of flowery looking design and set that on top of each of your slider rolls. Once you start adding more meat, they will stay a little bit better. They'll kind of overlap each other. Then we are just going to lay the six slices of cheese right on top. And remember, I use the Jarlsberg Light Swiss. It's only one point per slice. You can't beat that at all. And it's okay if you go ahead and overlap your cheese. It'll just make it a little bit cheesier. Now we're actually ready to make the secret to these sliders, which is the sauce. So go ahead and put the top on. And then what I have here is just a nine by 13 baking dish. It's not sprayed or anything. We don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and set your sliders in your baking dish. Let's whip up the sauce. So the first thing I did is melt one quarter cup of light butter. To that, I'm going to add about a half of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I know this sounds weird, but it's part of the secret sauce. And then we're also going to add about a half of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, same half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half of a teaspoon of poppy seeds. All right, and then go ahead, give that a stir. 
and that is the yummy sauce that's going to go right on top of our sliders. So we are going to drizzle this right over the top. You can use your spoon or a pastry brush to blend it a little bit more, but we wanna make sure that there's some of the secret sauce on all of the sliders. We are going to cover these sliders with some foil. Look how good that looks. Pop these in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes or so. Just keep an eye on them. You wanna make sure that the slider buns get a little crispy. Your cheese is melted and your ham is warmed through. Sliders are out of the oven. Look at this, you guys, this cheesy, oh. These look so good. My house smells amazing. Again, this would be a great appetizer for the holidays or get togethers, if you can get together. But this is going to be a portion of my lunch this week. Here is what they look like, all done and ready to go for the week. Each slider is five smart points and 152 calories. My plan is to just go ahead and pair it with some veggies because the slider has your bread and also has your meat and cheese. These look really delicious. sweet treat this week I'm making berry almond shortbread thumbprint cookies I say berry because you can really use any jam that you want I have huckleberry on hand that's what I'm going to be using the original recipe was raspberry but go ahead and just fill in the berry with any jam that you would like to use so let me show you what's in our recipe first you'll need all-purpose flour Again, I'm using the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener in Classic, and I'm also using the Lakanto Powdered Sugar, which I absolutely love. Again, don't forget about 10% off for Lakanto down in the description box. You're going to need light butter, cornstarch, almond extract. Again, whatever jam you're using, I have this on hand, so I'm going to use this. This is great because it's 100% real fruit, so there's really good ingredients. And then also some salt. So let's make some cookies. To start our cookies in a medium sized bowl, go ahead and add two cups of all purpose flour. We are going to add in just a pinch of salt and one teaspoon of cornstarch. Give that a good mix. Just make sure all of your dry ingredients are well combined. We're now going to mix together some wet ingredients. My battery died, so I don't know if you heard, but this is one cup measured out on my food scale of light butter, two thirds cup of the monk fruit sweetener, and we want about half of a teaspoon of almond extract. Now, almond extract is potent, so watch how much you put in. You can always add more, you just can't take away as easily. So I may add a little bit more. We'll see kind of how it tastes with your hand mixer you just want to make sure you mix until fully incorporated once that is combined we are gradually going to add in our flour mixture on a low speed mixer go ahead and get that until the flour is fully incorporated this is what your dough should look like. You just wanna make sure everything is mixed together as best that you can. So what I like to do is just kind of roll it on my spoon to pick up anything that just kind of falls to the bottom of the bowl. And then our dough is actually going to go in the refrigerator for one hour. One hour later. I just pulled the dough out of the refrigerator. It's nice and cold. We're gonna get ready to put these out on our sheet pan. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. For the cookies, you can either do 36 cookies, which is what the original recipe says that this makes. This is not a lot of dough. Or you can do 20 cookies. That's what I'm going to do for a little more points and calories. But I will share with you, of course, points and calories for all of the different options, whether you do 36 or 20 cookies. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these out. They are nice and cold. And just put the ball directly here on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. cookies 20 perfectly shaped cookies half of a cup of my jam what we're going to do is take either your pinky or your ring finger and put a well or an indent in the middle of each cookie so kind of like you would with a thumbprint cookie about halfway down once you do that you may need to redistribute and spread your cookies a little more evenly but I'm going to go ahead and get these all pressed down and then we'll fill them with jam Ringing in my ear, jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty. 
Look at how beautiful these are. These are going in the 350 degree oven for about 11 minutes or until the edges are just starting to brown. And while they're in the oven, we're gonna create a glaze. These even have a glaze. For the glaze, I have half of a cup of Lakanto powdered sugar. It is a two times sweetness sugar. So the original recipe calls for a full cup. We're gonna do half of a cup because it is two times the sweetness. We're also going to add about a half of a teaspoon of almond extract. Go ahead and give that a stir. We are going to pop in a little bit of water as needed to create the glaze consistency. And there's our glaze. So that is the perfect, perfect consistency. I'm just going to set this aside until the cookies come out of the oven. Yum. The smell and look absolutely delicious. I'm going to let them rest here on the sheet pan for about a minute and then I'm going to transfer them here to a cooling rack and we're going to let them cool completely before we use our glaze. So look at these cookies, you guys, incredible. For the best part, we are now going to glaze these cookies. They're nice and cooled. They've been resting here for about 20 minutes or so. I just went ahead and gave my glaze another stir. And then what I'm going to do is just drizzle it over my cookies. I actually have a piece of saran wrap under my rack here. That's a little pro tip to make cleanup a heck of a lot easier. So we're just going to drizzle these until we are out of icing. And here are our cookies, you guys. These are so good, I just had one. They are really delicious. They're the perfect sweetness and tartness from the jam. They're beautiful. Again, a fantastic holiday recipe. So I, again, made 20 cookies. And when you make 20 cookies, they are four points per cookie and 115 calories. Not bad for a cookie. Now, if you did make them a little bit smaller and did the 36 cookies, they would be two points per cookie and 64 calories each. So not bad at all. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're WW friendly, they're low in calories, and again, a great cookie to add to your holiday spread. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to eat these all week. I'm seriously so excited. You will find all of these recipes on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box. Also in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching. Don't forget to have your macros and calories figured out. This makes a great gift as well. And take advantage of 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Links, discount codes to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, definitely join us there, are all in the description box as well. If you love today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me, and of course it helps out my channel. And again, help me reach 30,000 subscribers in the next couple weeks, and make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Thank you, my friends, so much for hanging out with me. Happy Monday, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.